All right, we're going to do some probability problems here, and we are start with the probability table. Now, before you can really do anything with the probability table, you have to complete it. So you've got to find all your totals. So my blue eyes, when I add those together, I get 315. My brown eyes, there are 400 of those. The poor green-eyed people are only 85. Going the other direction, I have 380 males. Naturally, I have more women. I don't know, I just said that. And all together we have 800. So this number here, um, make sure it totals vertically and horizontally because if you mess something up, it's going to jack up all your answers. So we're going to use these totals to answer our questions. So first off, base straight up, find the probability a student is male. So we are talking about the males over the total. So how many males do I have? 380 over my total of 800. We're going to go ahead and go to three decimal places and I have a probability of 0.475, right? Less than half. Uh, number two, find the probability that a student has blue eyes. Well now we just care about blue-eyed people, so blue over the total. Okay, well I have 315 blue eyes out of 800. Again it's less than half, so it makes sense that my decimal is less than 0.5. Number three, Find the probability a student has brown eyes or green hair. So this is brown. Remember that or means to add and subtract the overlap. And the overlap would be brown-green. Now, is it possible for a student to have brown eyes and green eyes? Because that's what this is. This is brown and green. And for this particular problem, that overlap is zero. There is no overlap. So you can either put in a zero or you can just ignore it completely. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it because there is no overlap. It doesn't matter. Brown eyes is 400 out of 800. Green eyes is 85 out of 800. So together I have 485 out of 800 over half. So it makes sense that my decimal is 0.606. Find the probability that a student is male with green eyes. So male, here's my male, here's green eyes, male with green eyes, there are 30 of them out of 800, and that is 0 0.038, rounded to three decimal places, right? Very small percentage of, of students have are male with green eyes. Uh, find the probability a student is female or brown. So now we're talking about female, plus brown eyes, and now our overlap would be female with brown eyes. Can you be a female with brown eyes? Yes. All right, we're taking this, this row, this column, and you see we're counting this number twice. So how many females do we have? Well, that's this number I crossed through, 420 out of 800, plus our brown eyes. Well, there's 400 brown eyes out of 800. And then, as we said, the number that we counted twice was 260 out of 800. So when I put all of those together, I have 560 out of 800, which as a decimal is 0.7. Find the probability a student is a female with brown eyes. Well, female with brown eyes is 260 out of 800, which gives me uh, 0 0.325. If the student is female, now we're getting into conditional probability with the word if. When it says if the student is female, that means we only care about the female students. And that means my denominator is going to be 420. Probability, she has brown eyes. So just looking in our circle, uh, where the brown? 260. So I have 260 over 420 because we only care about those females. That gives us 0 0.619. Find the probability a student is male given he has blue eyes. Given is another word like if. So we only care about the blue eyes. We're looking at this row. My denominator is going to be 315 because that's the total of that column. Now, when we're looking at this, we want to know about the males. Well, looking only in my yellow box, I have 210 males. So 210 over 315 gives me 0 0.667. And the last one on this video, find the probability a student does not have blue eyes. Well, there's two ways you can do this. You can count up all of our non-blue eyes, or you can say, well, let's find the probability of blue, because that's pretty easy. Blue is 315 out of 800, which is um, 0.304. So that means the probability of not blue would be 
1 minus 0 0.304, which is 0 0.606. Because remember, those are complements. Together, blue and not blue have to make up one whole. So you can do it um, a couple of different ways, but ultimately, the yellow circle is your answer.